Hey everyone, Mike Rogers here from AffiliateMarketerTraining.com and in this video I'll be going over what the Google Panda algorithm really is. So for starters, what is an algorithm? Now I'll let you look up the exact definition of what an algorithm is, but from Google's standpoint, an algorithm is basically a series of metrics or ingredients that go into how they determine how which websites will rank highly for any given search term. So with Google, there's over 250 different metrics, different quote-unquote ingredients. Nobody knows exactly what those ingredients are, and uh, those ingredients also change over 400 times a year. So every day, they're making tweaks to certain ingredients within the algorithm. So it's a bit tough to stay ahead of the curve, but basically an algorithm is just a bunch of different metrics that Google uses to determine high-quality websites from low-quality websites. So what exactly is the Google Panda algorithm? Panda is just a small sliver, just a small part of the overall Google algorithm. And what Panda is designed to do is find low quality spammy websites. So websites with a lot of um, advertisements, uh, excessive advertising, maybe they have uh, you know a whole bunch of affiliate links. Uh, really websites that are set up just for revenue and really not to help uh, visitors coming to your website. Because remember, Google's main concern is making sure that people are satisfied with the search results. So if somebody types in, you know, how to make money online into the Google search result, and all Google has are a bunch of websites where people created those, the sites just to make affiliate sales or get you to, to click on their banner ads or, um, you know, other advertisements on the site, Google isn't interested in helping you do that. What Google is interested in is helping their customers, their searchers, and their search engine find high quality content. So that's what you really need to supply to them and excessive advertising is is really what Google Panda goes after because it's a pretty low user experience when people lands on a site and all it is is a bunch of advertisements. So what exactly is excessive advertising because that's sort of in the eye of the beholder. What Panda does, for the most part, and these are general rules, they're not set in stone, but for the most part, if you have a lot of ads above the fold, and what I mean by above the fold is before you scroll down on a website. So if you land on a website or on a web page, and before you even scroll down, you're not seeing any content, it's just all advertising. That's sort of one of the things that Google Panda goes after. So you're going to want to have enough content above the fold that people don't have to scroll down to read your content. And it's sort of a mixed message because the Google Panda algorithm uh, will penalize websites with too many ads above the fold. But then when you look at the uh, Google Advertising Network, Google AdSense, they actually recommend that you have ads above the fold to increase your revenue. So there's definitely mixed messages that come from Google here. Even if you do a Google search, you will see that the you know first three results or whatever and all on the right side are all advertisements. I mean, Google goes crazy with advertisements on their own, but then they penalize us for doing the same thing. So there's a bunch of mixed messages there, but the main thing is make sure you don't go overboard with your ads above the fold and make sure that you know your page is set up to actually help people and not just drive revenues for yourself. Another thing is Google hates low quality or duplicate content. So if you're using spun content, computer generated content, that's not going to work anymore because these Google Panda updates are really hammering them. You're not going to see a whole lot of spun content or computer generated content anymore. Uh, the other thing is using duplicate content. So of course, again, this is just a general rule. You'll notice with uh, news sites, for example, you know, a story might come out and a whole bunch of hundreds of news sites, thousands sometimes, will all use the exact same article on their site and they don't get penalized. So there are exceptions, but for the most part, you need to be writing 100% unique content or outsourcing that. Um, repurposing um, private label right content, you know, where there's no copyright but everybody else is using it too. This is not going to help your website rank highly. You need to come up with your own unique content. So in the end, Google Panda looks for on-page SEO. So there's two types of SEO. There's off-page SEO, which refers to the type of links that are coming into your site. And then there's uh, on-page SEO, which has more to do with uh, the quality of your website. So is your website running fast? Is it secure? Do you have high quality content? Do you have video? Do you have 
you know, things that will really be attractive for Google to send their, uh, their customers, their searchers to. So make sure that your on-page SEO factors are good. This means using good keywords. This means ha having a good page description, a good page title, not having a, a site that is just completely overblown with advertisements. Really try to make your site helpful for others and then Google will, will reward you for that. So everything in moderation. It's okay to have advertising, but make sure it's in moderation and you're also providing a good experience for the people that land on your website. As long as you do that, you are always going to stay ahead of the curve with Google Panda, which is updating about monthly now. So I hope this helped, guys. Again, this is Mike Rogers over at AffiliateMarketerTraining.com. Check out my homepage. You can uh, watch the welcome video and sign up for my free seven-day affiliate marketer e-course to help you get started with uh, starting your own affiliate marketing company. I very, very highly recommend it. It's totally 100% free, and you can cancel your uh, membership at any time. So come on over, AffiliateMarketerTraining.com, and until next time, you all take care.